This is another cracking kitchen project. Awesome recipe book holder, iPad holder, whatever you need it to be. You just pick the size it has to be. I'll provide a couple plans for you guys in the description. And again, awesome project to introduce you guys to the bandsaw. It's a quick one to do at school. The, the kids love it because it doesn't take too long to do and they get to take something home for mum or dad. And if you guys don't know me yet, my favourite place is the workshop. Second favourite has got to be the kitchen. So let's get into it. Don't forget to click the like, subscribes, thumbs up. We need more thumbs up. Let's go, people. Spread the word. Peace and love. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little biased, but this is a very cool project. A cool one to introduce kids to the bandsaw. So, a couple hot tips. Timber wise, material wise, it doesn't matter what you use, as long as it's a nice timber. Um, hard or soft, it's up to you. Um, this is just pine, it's nice and soft. It's easy on the tools and it doesn't need to be too heavy duty. The key for this project is the joinery in the center. It's gotta be a nice fit or a kind of, It'll make or break your project. So make sure your joinery is perfect. And obviously you've got to base that on the thickness of your timber. So whatever you're using, that's the key. The rest of it, to be honest, the shape, the angles, if they're a little bit out, it doesn't matter, as long as they're close. And to be honest, if they're not exactly the same, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make or break this project. So please get that point across to your little ones or to your students. The joinery is key. Um, oh, if you're doing the little one or the big one, it doesn't matter. If you can, try and print it off the exact size you want, whether it's A4, A3, whatever you can do to make your life a bit easier. I'm just going to trace these onto our bits of timber now, and um, we're going to hook into it. So, that's enough chat. Let's go. Super sharp pencil. So our board, it's 140 millimetres wide, uh, height wise, let's check it, we're about 35, 35 centimetres by 14. Um, again, whatever size you want, but I do use this straight edge as my kind of datum point. Hold it nice and still. Trace everything on. So here, this is where we've got to be careful. Trace the rest. Slide your timber down nice and close. We don't want to waste any of it. Now depending on your equipment at home or at school, um, most of this is going to be on the bandsaw. Um, I'm going to do a tiny bit on the drop saw as well, um, just because I can. Um, at home, if you can do, if you've only got maybe a jigsaw, that'll get you the job done. Um, handsaw, just as good, a little bit slower, but just as good. Um, Whatever your equipment you've got will dictate what you're allowed, what you can get through. But if you haven't worked me out yet, any excuse to go buy more gear, go buy yourself a little bandsaw. You don't need to spend a lot of coin. The second hand market's just as good. If you get old equipment, I'd argue it's even better. So they're marked out, but we're going to do these two, the joinery, um, more accurately. And I want to do it while I've got my nice straight board. Everything's parallel, so everything I mark out is going to be square. Let's zoom into that. Alright, let's go with joinery. Let's do this one first. So from the very top to the very bottom, it's 35. 
Half of 35 is our 17 and a half. So give yourself a mark. So that is the center, exact center. And our timber is 18 millimeters wide, so I'm gonna go nine either side. Gives me that. Gives me that. And the last thing to do is we're about 37. So let's halve that. 15, 18, half. I'm going to end up with the joinery just here. And it's really important, make sure you mark out so that bit's coming out. Let's do this side. So 35, 17 and a half. Go nine each side. Please, you guys do whatever your thickness of your timber is. Find the halfway, then go the other side. So we're going to come in like we did before, that 18 and a bit. Uh, let's use this one. There. And this comes out. So that comes out, all of this comes out. Please don't get them back to front. So these are 22, so I'm gonna go 11, and then I still go my nine and nine. This one's about 32, so we're going to go 16. So shapes are done, angles on the bottoms are done, and our joinery is super accurate. We cannot go wrong. All right, let's grab some safety gear. And let's fire up the power tools. My hot tip, if you're using the drop saw, the angle you cut at should be about four degree. So if you can, set it up and be nice and accurate. All right, let's go. All right, hot tip. Make sure your guard is set so your timber and your fingers cannot get through at the same time. And also, if you're new to the bandsaw, I would actually draw up maybe a third one of these and have a practice. Um, if you've got the waste material in particular, practice. You're gonna see me, I'm gonna cut this into two bits so I don't have to manhandle two like two sections and I'm just going to take it nice and easy you're going to see me cut really close to but not on top of the lines especially when I do the two joinery parts um, take note how I cut them out 
The rest, like I was saying, as long as you're close, within reason, it'll be all. It'll always work out. The joinery is the key. All right. If you're new to the bandsaw, I've got an awesome video you should watch. I'll put the link up now. Yeah, I'm hope I'm that clever. All right, let's get cracking. Great job, dad joke time. Did you guys hear about the dyslexic zombie? He only eats brines. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, rate my dad joke in the comments. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, like always, just sand with whatever gear you've got. We're lucky enough to have a linisher. So I'm gonna go nuts. Whatever you got at home will work. It's gonna be a combo of the linisher, files and some sandpaper. All right, for the last bit. Easiest way is to use your bench vise, clamp it in nice and tight, get these as close as you can to same same, and just do a combo of sanding. I've got some 240, I've got some 120. Um, you guys continue with the rock music. You're going to see me sand, 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 and then I'll be real careful with the uh, actual joinery with the files and a bit of sandpaper, and I'll keep, you'll see me double check them a fair bit. This stuff, I just want to get rid of all the bandsaw um, cuts. So, you guys can rock out. Last bit, once you've done your joinery, just check what the back's like. So I'm still a tiny bit proud on that one, so I've got to take a smidge out of the joinery. Just to get that flush. So I'll take a smidge out of this one. Alright, sawdust and chrome fan. Now. I would never claim to be a master craftsman, but I love hanging out in the workshop and building cool stuff. And I really, really love that I get to teach other people to do the same. You guys should enjoy what I get to do every day. So, my thank you to the family is, anyone who gives me the best reply comment to my dad joke, and anyone who gives me the nicest comment slash shares the love of Sawdust and Chrome, I'm actually gonna, send out to you guys a big one and I won't make you watch me but I'm going to clean up the little one too and I want to send that out to someone as well so best comments best uh, the most love and the best feedback for my dad joke <laughs> try and keep it positive I want to send out a large and a small one of these guys so um, I'm not quite sure how I'll do it but I'll get back to you with who wins and whatnot um, I think that's it. You guys can watch me wrap it up. Thank you so much for everything. Please spread the word. Do the likes, subscribes, the thumbs ups. Everyone, everyone 
bangs on about how important they are, so let's start smashing those out. All right. Peace and love from my family to yours. All right. I'll finish this off. You guys can go get your stuff, get your uh, projects going. All right. See you soon, guys.